A look here at the fast-growing downtown of Miami, Florida as we return to action. What a game we're seeing from Kemba Walker. You know, all game long, he's gone right at defenders, creating contact, and he's found a way to get to the free throw line. You know, it might not be the prettiest way to tally up the points, but they count nonetheless. I mean, the fourth quarter's coming up, and he might get some guys in foul trouble if he keeps dominating the paint like this. Clutch, he's in a shooting guard. LeBron James is out there with Al Harrington. Then there's Haslam, and it's Wade in at the point. That's the group in the game for the Heat. Thomas inside, Haslam on him. No one covered. Thomas got eight points. He exposed a flaw on the defense. No way they're supposed to be giving him that shot. Here's Clutch. Again, the Heat, good for two. Boy, this is a shooting exhibition, guys. I mean, he's not wasting any of his chances. Now Walker. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Six to shoot. Kid Gilchrist sets the pick for Walker. From the line. Rebound by the Heat. Great close out there, forcing the Aaron shot. Oh, oh man, that was a real hard to go. That's taking it strong right there. Yeah, finishing in style. Uh, you can feel a sense of anticipation when he heads for the hoop because that's what he can do. That was a nice replay brought to you by Sprite. The Heat shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. One of the things they've done, guys, is taken pride in their free throw shooting this season, and rightfully so. Bobcats trail by 19. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Haywood with a screen on lead. Here's Walker. It's hauled in by the Heat. Harrington's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Following this one, they get to host the Rockets. That'll be the second of five straight played at home. And you know, for the Rockets, that's a game they'd really like to have. This offense is first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. Deflected. And Walker kicks to Gordon. Kicks it to Thomas. Over Harrington. Again, the miss by the Bobcats. And the offense continues to struggle. Just one make in their five attempts. Wade fires. And the officials call over the back. A little too aggressive there. Yeah, that was kind of clumsy looking. He was not going to get away with that. He climbed all over him like he was on the ladder. I mean, that's a, an easy over-the-back call there. Well, when you watch Dwayne Wade play, he's a tremendous scorer. The one weakness in his game is the three-point shot. But I think last year he did a really wise thing. He cut way back on his attempts and took his game more inside where he's such a dominant player. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Walker. Rebound by the Heat. And Steve, you mentioned Wade, never a three-point march under 30% for his career. His team really built around Clark, I think, the mid-range jumper on him. Yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I mean, that's the strength of who he is now. The three-point shot could add to what he does, but he's doing it at about 25 a game without a real lethal three-point shot. So maybe that's just kind of the chink in his armor. But it still doesn't keep him from being one of the best ever. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. The Heat leading by 19. LeBron kicks the way. Here's Clutch. Launches a three. And again, Miami with the triple. This is some kind of performance we're seeing from him today. He has yet to miss a shot. Wade against Walker. Kid Gildress sets the pick for Walker. Right side, Gordon. A shot. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. LeBron's now got 11 rebounds in the game. But unfortunately, he just has not been able to produce offensively to this point. Well, that's a quality look there. The defense a bit late. And two straight now from long range, putting up points in a hurry, Clark. And here's Walker. 15 points in the game. Haywood with a screen on Wade. Dishes it to Thomas. 
Ben Gordon on the wing. Four on the clock. That freed up. Nice work off the pick. Gordon's got 11 points. Not much resistance for him after that pick, Kevin. I mean, he had all sorts of space to hit the shot. And it's Wade penetrating. Guarded by Walker. Fades back. Wade misses. He hasn't been one of their key guys tonight, but uh, they are still winning despite his lack of production. Walker against Haslam. Walker dishes to Kid Gilchrist. It's hauled in by LeBron. LeBron's now got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Here's Clutch. LeBron outside. The feed now to Harrington. A three. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Harrington's got eight points in the quarter. And the damage they're doing from three-point range here in the second half is amazing. Yeah, I mean, they're always a threat to spray home some threes now, but not like this. That's good. Well, he stepped up this quarter, providing a hot hand to help carry them offensively. The Heat have gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. Throws up the alley-oop. Tries to keep it alive. And stolen by Thomas. Now here's Walker. 15 points in the game. And it's Miami with the rebound. LeBron's now got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Harrington the pass to Wade. With the fadeaway. And there's another one for the Heat. He got that one, but he hasn't been producing the way we're accustomed to. He needs to look for a shot a bit more. Here's our 2K leaderboard with the list of the teams that have been on fire from beyond the arc over the past month. In fourth, the Heat. Seems like their whole team is in a great rhythm from the three-point line right now. They put on a display from long range. And Walker kicks to Hayward. Gordon lets it go from 11. Good as the jump shot falls. Gordon's got eight here in the quarter. And now six of their last ten points from mid-range. Yeah, jump shot really serving these guys pretty well. Inside, here's Clutch. And a serious dunk to finish it off. They're just getting better offensively as the game goes along, making good choices and getting high percentage shots. And they're playing hard and playing smart too, Steve. Clutch. They've just been very, very good. For the Bobcats, Richard Lewis. He's checked in for Harrington. Allen comes in for Udonis Hassan. And it's Chalmers in for Dwayne Wade. Pass to Anderson. The shot's good. Sessions making him pay. Sessions got three assists in the game. The Heat shooting 64%. Beautiful all-around play by this offense. Allen dishes to Chalmers. And it's good. Chalmers has got his second bucket tonight. Bob Gantz have gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Sessions passes to Gordon. And Sessions kicks to Gordon. He feeds it to Taylor. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Henderson's got his second basket. Man, they are just lighting him up from mid-range area. You know, sometimes we forget about the value of the mid-range or in-between game. This team has made eight of their last ten with that shot, the in-between shot. Ray Allen is on the win. He's covered by Sessions. Here's Clutch. Back and down. Pocket six. He kicks it to LeBron. Shoots over Hingler. Moves back up. The shot is off. Now, Charlotte takes it the other way. Their next game is at Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland, taking on the Cavaliers. That will conclude a five-game road trip for them. Yeah, you know the fans out in Cleveland really hoping for a win for their Cavaliers. That's a, that's a big game for them. Back to LeBron. Lots it fly. And there's the call on James. That's his first foul. Terrific defensive play to cut him off and square up. And he took a shot. Excellent touch. against Wade. Here's Thomas. Down goes the slam. 
reverse that one home. Now that was nice, real nice. The agility on display. Yeah, you love that body control. Oof. Oh, that one had it all, guys. Power and grace. Just beautiful. Well, Heat leading by 20. LeBron outside. With the lead pass. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. You know, when he plays well, generally the team does too, and it's exactly what we're seeing here today. Bob Gatt shooting it well here in the third, about 50%. Here's Walker. He's got 17 on the wing, Ben Gordon. Backing him down. Thomas sets a screen for Gordon. Off the pick. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrus Thomas. That's his first foul. A little over eager right there. Left his feet too early. And if you're already boxed out, you've got to try to work to get around. Otherwise, it's a surefire foul. 102 left to play here in the third. LeBron's shot is good. You can't fault what he's been doing out there. Some really impressive shooting. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Thomas. To the middle. Six on the shot clock. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Kevin Walker really is a great penetrator and a volume scorer. Not a great outside shooter yet. Streaky. But I think when you look at him and his ability to penetrate and finish, uh, it's very impressive at that size how, how productive he is. Udonis Haslam. He's checked in for Miami. And it's Wade penetrating off the drop step. And that one's good. Wade's got four points in the quarter. You know, if he's got the ball in his hands and the basket in his sight, he's going straight to the right. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Walker gets a screen from Kid Gilchrist. Gordon kicks to Thomas. Feeds it to Walker. Gets the bucket. Walker's got 21. 12 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Clutch. Over Gordon. A miraculous buzzer beater. Oh, I love how he kept his cool there. Low stress, not a care in the world. You're right. Oh, man, with time running down, knowing that you need to hurry up and get that shot off, and yet he takes his time and knocks it down. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. It's the Heat running away with it. The newest issue of Dime Magazine just hit the shelves. Clutch with top billing. He talks about managing the spotlight from his growing fan base. Well, welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. Who's at the Sprite uncontainable game in this one? Well, let's go to Doris Burke. And Kevin, for that great stretch the Heat put together, they get the uncontainable game award. It's been a defensive clinic as they just can't help but get stops. The lead continues to grow for them as they look like they are allergic to getting scored on. Doris, thank you. That was quite a run they had. Quite exemplary of what we think of when we think about that turning point. Definitely a Sprite uncontainable game moment. Yeah, you won't get any argument from me, Kevin. It was as big a factor in this game as anything. You know, when a team builds up that much momentum, it just becomes so hard to turn the tide back around. Yeah, see, they just kept the throttle down. They sense an area of weakness and then just continue to exploit it, never letting up. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. On the court right now for the Bobcats. Sessions out there with Ben Gordon. Then there's Haywood. Then there's Tyrus Thomas. And it's Kid Gilchrist in at the three spot. The Heat shooting a superb 63% from the field. Wade dishes to Harrington. Over Thomas. Brendan Haywood with the rebound. So it's the Bobcats now. Sessions passes to Thomas. That falls. Great assist by Ramon Sessions. Sessions got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Ray Allen is on the wing. Defended by Gordon. Had the space there, but it's offline. That falls. Great assist by Ramon Sessions. 
Gordon's got 10 points here in the second half. The Heat leading by 20. He dishes it to Harrington. Beyond the arc. Offensive rebound. Wade chins it with authority. Boy, that's hard-nosed sandpaper basketball right there. A lot of little friction in there. Oh, partner. I love the way you described that. Why does it ever? <laughs> Nobody was going to get to the rim but him. Oh, man, with the violent putback to finish it off. And Kid Gilchrist throws it down. How about the nice, exquisite timing on that alley-oop? Well done. Yeah, two teammates in total sync right there. You're right. Very yeah. harmonic. Mm. Oh, man, it was beautiful. The pass was delivered right to the hoop. Set up that jam. Wade drives in. The Bobcats pull it in. Kid Gilchrist has got four rebounds now tonight. Bobcats trail by 20. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Allen against Sessions. Gordon outside. That falls. Great assist by Ramon Sessions. Sessions got his seventh assist here tonight. He'd have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. Now the dish to Aslam. The 15-footer. Good. The Bobcats have gone an outstanding four of five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. And Sessions kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Now the pass to Haywood. The turnaround jumper. And it's hauled in by the Heat. They continue to pull down misses, and that's how they're maintaining this lead. Yeah, well, one and done is the recipe for continuing to hold on to a lead. You don't want to let the other team back in it by giving them extra possession. That's exactly what they had in mind on that possession. Wade against Sessions. Now Haywood inside. And goaltending is going to be the call, so they get the basket there anyway. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Crowd not happy at all with that call, Clark. You know what? I hope these officials, Steve, have thick skin. And I know they do because they're hearing it on that call. LeBron, he's checked in for Al Harrington. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Well, with the effort uh, of the new CBA to close some gaps between the big spenders in the league, the NBA also raised the floor for teams each year in terms of the minimum salary cap. So uh, the union insisted on that because they, they wanted to make sure teams weren't uh, just hoarding their money. And Walker kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Pass to Thomas. Haywood with a screen on LeBron. Thomas dishes to Haywood. Hops loose off the pick and hammers it home. Boy, taking it hard to the rack for the big throwdown. And give an unofficial assist, Clark, to his teammate for setting the screen that freed him up. Yeah, good call, Kevin. That was really the key to the play. Here's Clutch. Gets it to go. Clutch has got 17 now, just in the second half. And with that salary floor, as you call it, Steve, I think we'll see a lot more purity as the money disparity shrinks. Well, we'll see, Kevin. I mean, I'm not sure you can legislate parity. It still comes down to who's got the best players, and, and there's not that many great players in the world who can make a difference. There's probably, you know, 10 true max players in the NBA. So you can try to draw up all the rules you want, but in the end, the best players are going to win. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. And when I look at him, two words come to mind winning plays. I mean, this is a guy who just finds a way when, when his team needs it the most. He, he finds a way to get the job done. Excellent point you make there, Steve. It's not about the stat sheet with him. He's all about doing the little things. He likes to say the plain things are the main thing. Thomas sets a screen for Walker. No good. Excellent D from Wade. And this is why they have the big lead. The rebounding has been dominant. You know, guys, the uh, plus eight rebounding, I don't think it tells the whole story. I mean, they've been the more physical team from the outset. That's been the difference, their physicality. And Sessions kicks to Kid Gilchrist. And, guys, we know officiating the NBA game is really such a tough job. I don't envy those guys at all. And 
They're under more scrutiny than ever before now. All the clips are available online, and the league is really putting more energy than ever into getting the best out of the offense. Oh, 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 oh. Tell you what, whether there's an opening or not, well, this guy's going to attack the rim regardless. And that last replay, courtesy of Sprite. Sessions with it. Kicks it to Haywood. Sessions up top. Fires from 18. And it's Haslam with the rebound. Haslam's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Clutch. The shot's good on the assist by Wade. Clutch has got five points in the quarter. He's been so valuable for this team with plays like that one. Sessions against Wade. Sessions passes to Kid Gilchrist. Outside, Walker. Lock at six. Right side to Walker. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Walker's got 23. You know, Kevin, they were a step late on their defensive rotation, and that helped them get right to the rim. Wade outside. Shoots over Walker. Wade gets the bucket. Bobcat shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Now Sessions. Dishes it to Haywood. That falls. Great assist by Ramon Sessions. Sessions got nine assists in the game. Great passing. The feed to Aslam. Open look. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Wade's got six assists in the game. And Sessions kicks to Thomas. Kid Gilchrist dishes to Haywood. Count that one. Haywood's got ten points in just the second half. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I'd keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. If they don't offer resistance, take everything you can get in there. I think it's as simple as this, guys. Get him the ball. That's all you need to do. Give it to him. Now here's Sessions. D right on him. Walker with it. Wade picks him up. It's stolen by Wade. And the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. Bobcat's having lots of trouble defending against Wade. He has 20 points, and the assist number's tremendous. it up off the inbound and it's Walker that time on the assist by Haywood now they probably needed more of this earlier guys I don't think there's enough time left to get back into the game guys this is really a case of, of too little too late but at least it gives them something to work off of going into the next game here's clutch shot clock at six trills the baseline jumper Clutch has got 35 in the game. And they're closing this game out in style. I, mean, I, I like what they're doing here, competing till the very end. That's certainly what it looks like. I mean, there's no let up in them so far. Here's Walker. Kicks it out to Gordon. Fires for three. Good on the shot. Chalmers against Walker. Here's Clutch. A fadeaway. Can't connect. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just did one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. That'll do it for now for Doris Burke, Steve Curry, Clark Kellogg, and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us.
Don't know if you've seen it yet, but you're on the cover of yet another magazine. What's it like to see yourself getting such worldwide recognition at this stage in your career? It's a real honor, man. I've been dreaming about playing in the NBA and being on magazine covers since I was a little kid. And now to see myself on another one is pretty amazing. It's the kind of thing I can look back on one day and be proud of, that's for sure. For now, I'll enjoy it some, but I can't let myself get too caught up in that kind of thing, you feel me? The team in this season are way too important for that.